In 1985, several grid manufacturers and I-beam suppliers forged the Bridge Grid Flooring Manufacturers Association. As part of its mission, the association conducts ongoing research to constantly improve its products and reduce costs, and to provide current data to you about grid-reinforced decking. Let's look at BGFMA's time-tested product line. Each of the three basic options starts with a fabricated grid, an interlocking network of steel shapes. First, there's full depth, where concrete fills the entire grid. Second, there's partial depth, where concrete fills only the top half of it, providing substantial weight savings. Third is the exodermic deck. Here, a thin slab of reinforced concrete sits atop an unfilled grid with alternative shear connectors so that grid and concrete behave as a single composite unit. The three options offer you choices of deck profiles ranging from 3 to 10 inches in depth. And please don't confuse grid-reinforced concrete with open grid deck. While open grid uses similar components and is made by BGFMA members, it is an entirely different category of product, ultra-light with no structural concrete component. Grid-reinforced concrete in three basic options. Let's see why this time-tested product is the technology for the future. The fill grading has two advantages. One is that it is lighter in weight than the comparable reinforced concrete deck. The other is that it has a much longer service life before it will need to be replaced. While time is the enemy of all structures, the biggest advantage of steel grid is durability. It lasts at least two to three times as long as standard reinforced concrete. Clear proof of this are many older bridges, which were built with both grid reinforced decks and reinforced concrete ones. Time and again, under identical climate and traffic conditions, the grid reinforced product has lasted longer. Examples of bridges with mixed deck applications showing significant lifespan differences include the Elizabeth Bridge, Thousand Islands, Homestead, and the Walt Whitman Bridges. Located in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the South 10th Street Bridge was built in 1932 with a grid-reinforced concrete deck, which is still in service today. In late 2009, the grid deck was thoroughly inspected and included localized hydro demolition of the concrete fill and asphalt overlay to inspect the integrity of the original steel grid. Although the asphalt overlay has been replaced multiple times, the concrete infill is sound and the steel grid is in excellent condition. In fact, data compiled by the Federal Highway Administration indicates the average age of replacement of a reinforced concrete deck is 35 years while a growing number of grid installations are now reaching 60 and 70 years of service. Two more advantages of grid systems are their lightweight nature, combined with strength and greater stiffness. For the same load capacity, grid decks can weigh as much as 50% less. On new bridges, designers can save weight and therefore costs on foundations and superstructures. On rehab projects, Replacing disintegrating reinforced concrete with grid decking can increase live load capacity or be used to widen structures without the need for expensive strengthening. Yet another advantage of grid deck is fast installation. Modular construction can eliminate months of field work and grid panels are exceptionally well suited for precast projects done at night to keep rush hour traffic flowing during the day. And as you may have guessed, when evaluated on a life cycle cost basis, grid reinforced concrete decks have the lowest cost per year of service versus any other type of decking available. More about the savings in both rehabs and new construction in a moment. This bridge project is located on a peninsula, a uh, lifeline to the peninsula that, in other words, would take local residents an hour and a half to get around uh, going up to the next bridge upriver. The grid deck panels have allowed us to keep the bridge live uh, and providing for one-way traffic on the bridge, and that has made a lot of the local residents very happy. 
One project using the best properties of steel grid decks was the rehabilitation of the Manhattan Bridge in New York City. The bridge was originally open to traffic in 1909 and now carries nearly 400,000 vehicles, mass transit riders, pedestrians and bicyclists between Manhattan and Brooklyn on a daily basis. In 2005, a multi-phase project was completed to replace approximately 400,000 square feet of deck on the upper and lower roadways with a partial depth reinforced concrete deck system. A reliable concrete filled steel grid deck was required on this structure for many reasons including its modularity, durability and lightweight design. Starting back in the 1930s, well-respected engineers and master bridge builders like Otmar Rahman, George Richardson, Ralph Majeski, D.B. Steinman, and more have designed with and praised the qualities of grid-reinforced concrete. Whether it's a new deck on a two-lane bridge in West Virginia or a bigger one in Pittsburgh, the city of bridges, new approaches for New York City's historic Brooklyn Bridge, or a closed deck system on one of many signature movable bridges across our nation's inland waterways, engineers and government agencies continue to look to grid-reinforced concrete as a superior solution. In 1994, the Federal Highway Administration promoted an interim policy to consider life cycle costs for transportation projects rather than only initial costs. Twelve years later, the administration launched the Highways for Life program. This program built upon the long-lasting product goals of the 20th century and introduced the philosophy, get in, get out, stay out, with a push for using fast and efficient prefabricated technology for the 21st century. In this forward-looking context, grid-reinforced concrete is the product of choice to accomplish these goals. First, whether precast or cast-in-place installation is specified, prefabricated panels are set quickly to accelerate construction minimizing driver inconvenience and other indirect costs. Secondly, grid-reinforced concrete decks weigh less than conventional decks of equal strength and are therefore structurally efficient. This translates into savings for all other components on new construction and may permit increased live load capacity on rehabilitation of older structures. Lastly, Grid-reinforced concrete decks have proven to be two to three times more durable than other decks, which equates to discounted future costs over the life of the structure. When you look at the big picture, grid-reinforced concrete is a product for everyone interested in total quality management. In either new construction or rehabs, grid decking is the answer for the future. User costs for a particular project are made up of two components. One is the amount of delay time or increased travel time to the public during each individual rehabilitation and filled grids have a significant advantage there because of their modular construction which reduces the amount of time it takes to replace the deck. The second part of user cost is the number of times it has to be done during the service life of a given structure. And with the service life that has been proven with filled grids that is approximately twice or greater than other types of decks, there's a reduced user cost in the life cycle cost analysis from that aspect as well. As of now, approximately 40% of our nation's bridges are over 40 years old, and new bridges will continually be added to the nation's roadways. How far into the future will they carry us? There is a product today that our grandchildren will still use for many decades to come, one that's durable, lightweight, strong, fast, and affordable. One that's designed for the future. Grid-reinforced concrete. For more information, call 1-877-257-5499 or visit us on the web at bgfma.org.